There is great love of truth that we are, for we are that love, and from within this love a desire arises to share this understanding in the form of teaching or guiding in a similar way that you are here. My human condition is certainly not perfect, and I notice that my behaviour and thoughts and feelings are not 100% of the time expressing the truth or our shared invisible being. In other words, I'm occasion, I occasionally notice patterns of resisting and seeking arising from time to time from the inertia of habit. With this condition, I am still obviously certain of my inherent freedom and peace. There is never a problem, yet there is some wobbliness with regards to teaching, even though at the, time, at the same time there is such joy in sharing whatever happens spontaneously. If I think what I would love to do for a job, I immediately feel to teach. Can you speak to this from your experience? Yeah, I love to teach. Um, I think all of us are born with different talents in this life. So it doesn't necessarily mean if you have an awakening or a profound shift that you'll be a teacher. Like I think all of us have our particular gifts to give for this life. I don't know if, if um, I think that my gift is storytelling. I know that's really ironic because of the subject. But in a way, um, what I'm doing is I'm communicating stories. I mean, in a way, the whole of life is stories. And I'm communicating particular stories to you in order to bring about a resonance with this subject. And um, I think that uh, that's my natural talent in, in this. And, um, and I think then there's other teachers that are teachers as well, uh, teachers and I don't know if I'm such a teacher teacher <laughs> um, it's funny I would just, um, you know, like, I think it, I, I mean, I have a lot of friends that are teachers and just from myself, like I know for myself I'm not perfect and I have issues and I can get drawn into arguments and silly debates and uh, all different things. So on the human level, I'm sure there's, I know there's like gunk coming out of Lisa, like it's not... Um, always helpful to others or expansive to others and I and from speaking with other teachers that I know that the majority of them also have that as well and I think the ability to speak about that and admit that to people and say that it's important there seems to be some teachers that say that they haven't and that that doesn't come up for them anymore and I'm just open to that I'm open to them being unconscious of it and I'm open to the fact that there might be some people that get to some sort of pace on the human level where they have no negative responses appearing and so I don't think it's so much looking to your that that side of things I think it's looking to what your motivation is for speaking um, and just going deeply into that And just seeing 
what it is, you know. Is it a form of seeking for you? You know, seeking validation or seeking clarity? And even if it is, I mean, when the student's ready, the teacher will come in every form. It doesn't need to be enlightened. It will be in every... Everything will be seen as a teacher. So it's not that that part is so important. It's just for you, like what is the driving force behind it? And I know, I, I think I have a sense of what my driving forces are, and I don't know if that's pure or not. It's just the way it is. So one part is the love for um, certain things and certain ways of phrasing things. So when I speak about non-duality, it really vibrates in my heart, and there's something that's really beautiful about that. It doesn't. It's not so concerned, though, when speaking about it, of how that's received or what's happening in the other, it doesn't really notice an other. It's just like a vibration, like it comes out of me and it feels like love. So there's this part of it. And then there's another human part, or maybe that is a human part, but there's another human part that's like, um, there's part of me that, um, when I'm speaking to people directly, it's like I want to just give them everything, like I want to give them freedom. So that's more when I'm speaking directly to people. Um, so there's that. It's just trying to be as honest with you with with the as you can with things. There's another area that's interested in money, but not in an excessive way. Like my um, sessions currently, like booked out until September or October, and I know that I could put the price up for the sessions, but there's not an interest in doing that. That there's an interest in having enough, but it doesn't feel right for me to um, to do too much without having something in return. Like uh, sounds like it's really greedy but it actually feels quite balanced to me it's like an apple tree never taking um, nutrients from the ground but just keep continuously giving apples it's never going to work it's never going to sustain be sustained it will eventually die because it will give all its apples but it won't take any nutrients from the ground and so there is part of me when I like give away too much for free it feels uncomfortable um, for me. So there, there is an interest there in that, but it's not like an excessively greedy thing. Not that that's necessarily bad, but it's not like I'm trying to take lots and lots, like just enough is nice. Um, like fair, like I want to be fair. So there's that. Yeah, so for me, that's, I think that's the main three things. And I would say the most important for me is the first one, is that shining part. Yeah, something really beautiful happens in particular ways that I articulate non-duality. And that's how this all started for me, was from just doing that. Yeah. The second one was sometimes a little painful, like the wanting, I want people, I want to give people everything. Like when I speak one on one to people, like I want to give them everything. And that sometimes can be a little painful because we can't. <laughs> In a way, I mean, everything is everything, but like, if someone's destined to suffer, they're destined to suffer. So. Yeah. so just try to be as honest with yourself, you know, and if you're, if you notice, like there's some glory or like, it's just noticing and there's nothing wrong with it. If there's some glory that you find or being righter than others or knowing better than others, like I know there's, 
and I think that it doesn't come up in me. Um, but those are the things that I can feel. Yeah. You know, and if there is these types of things, just being conscious of it. So when you're speaking with someone, if there's like a wanting to beat them or wanting to know more than them or anything like that, just, just seeing what your motive is. And if, if a lot of your motives are from more of a seeking energy, then maybe it's not quite the time for you to speak. And if your motives come from what you feel is quite balanced, then, then speak. Thank you for your question, Samuel.